Hey guys, it's the Diamond Company here, and today is the day. It is currently 5:19 in the morning. Uh, I just got up. We're going to Detroit today. Identification is key. I don't know what time is it. 5:30. 539. 539. Yep. Mm, I love you. Okay, so if you watched yesterday's vlog, we went here last night. So guys, right now we are just chilling at grandma's house. Skirt skirt. Hey grandpa. Hey. Okay, are you ready to go to Detroit? I'm ready to go. Me too. Look at all that leg, leg room. I can do a uh, Dr. Miro lying down. Hey, there's Raleigh. Woo! So we're uh, about 20 minutes out from the airport. Um, that This place got a whole lot more snow than we did. We stopped and got breakfast. We got some Bojangles. Comment if you know what that is because it's only like a Carolina thing. But Hey, that's the sheets that we were at in the car meet. Hey, you want a pop tag? What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Hey, shut me out, shut me out, shut me out. Shut me out. Yeah, you get a pop tag. Pop tag. Not the green. Green hey. Z350Z. It's Woo. lit to be at sheets. Woo. So there's like a Beechcraft. Or no, that's a Cessna 210. It's true. Okay, yeah, there's a 73, I think. We'll be out there in like two hours, two and a half hours. Okay, we're here. Yes. Hey, there's ice down there now. Yeah, there's ice. Pretty sure jets are over there. So we made it into the airport. Uh, there's like some planes over here, as you can see. Yep, that's like a uh, Boeing 717, maybe an Airbus A321, I think. So right now we're in line for the TSA. I got a lot of people looking at me. They're like, what's this kid doing filming himself? Good experience so far. There was a lot of people that were going to Detroit. The moment I've been waiting for for over a year, literally, is finally coming out. Because last year I heard about the auto show, like they did, they released all their footage, and it was like at January, right? So I've been waiting a year now to go to Detroit. Yeah, that's what matters. Okay, so we just got out of the uh, TSA. Now there's the runway. I hope, I wish the plane would just go because I've seen them do that. Uh, now the challenge is getting down here. Well, he's on a wheelchair. That's the challenge of right now because there's no like elevators down, at, at least in the general vicinity. Okay, we found an elevator. Elevators. Oh wait, they have one of those in like the other part of the airport. Okay, so we've found our gate. Uh, it's gonna be a packed airplane. Oh, there's like a CNBC News. They got a lot of stores here. Yeah, right now uh, we are boarding the flight. We're doing the pre-board because Grandpa needs some assistance getting on the flight. Here we go. I'm so excited right now. You gonna look back at me? Got the cockpit right there. Gotta get a thumbnail. Yep, we're going to the auto show. Oh. Okay, we made it. Motor City. You want to stick? Can this go down? Wow, I've never actually realized how big runways are. Oh, here we go. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. We're probably going like 100 miles an hour in the Conan Zegra Gera. Conan Zegra Gera, top gear, testing track. Oh, we're rotating.
ears are already starting to pop. Okay, so right now, uh, we're at the rental place. We got a Nissan Frontier, which is pretty cool. Uh, we arrived on a bus like that. Uh, and yeah, so far so good. The trip has gone good. Uh, my backpack is absolutely killing me. I don't have to bear it for much longer because we got like a sweet, I think it was a white Frontier. There it is. Okay, here it is, SV 4x4. Yes, a new Aventador SV. Okay guys, see this tire right here? This is used, like all, they have all these wheels. This is actually like a 32 wheeler, you know, we call them 18 wheelers. This is actually a 32 wheeler because the reason they have, as long as it's not focusing, but the reason they have so many wheels is so they can carry uh, heavy steel. Some of these homes, or not these homes, but some homes in Detroit, they actually sell them for one to $100. And the reason they're so cheap is because either they're in a bad neighborhood or, or they're so dilapidated, like, and abandoned. And then why they sell them for so cheap instead of just letting them stay there is because uh, the tax, like, they can collect tax money because, you know, the property and stuff. Oh, there it is outside. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Wow, this is a big city. Okay, guys, you see them, like, four stacks in that one major stack thing? That is it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right now we're going into a Ford dealership. Oh, look at this. Uh, it's an automatic thing. Automatic, but. Look at that G Wagon. That is so cool. It's a. Oh, it's an AMG? You, sir, are in Canada. Oh my gosh. Does that lady even realize the importance of the car she's driving? But look at how big the. Pay she's looking at me now. I should probably stop. Okay, we have just made it to Canada. We don't have passports or anything. Right now, I think we're just gonna try to get some money. But I just realized I I can officially say that I am a legal immigrant. So right now, we're just gonna take some portraits. I believe there is a Chevrolet Camaro, I mean Corvette, 
ZR1. Now, if you know what that is or anything about that, then you know it's very special. Okay, so as I said, I want to get some Canadian currency, so that's what we're doing. And apparently, they use nuts, peanuts. Can I see I it? It's so like papery and it's like plastic slash papery. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I got a ten dollar bill. I guess a ten dollar note. Excuse me. I got a ten dollar note. A five dollar note. I don't know who these people are, but they look important. Okay, this is my first time ever tasting Canadian McDonald's. Does it taste the same? Get the truck, immigrant. Yeah. But right now we're in Canadian. We are illegal immigrants. Uh, we're going to they the Detroit us. Auto Show. We are gonna have to go inside and fill up paperwork. That is my son back there. So, yes. Okay, guys. Uh, so right now we just got the valet parking, full MVP, everything. Uh, that's right there. Um, so I saw a glimpse of a ZR1, the new one. This isn't like the 2008. This is the new 2019 ZR1. Guys, we may or may not be stuck in the elevator. Yeah, man, let's go. Let's get it. We're going to see the ZR1. We are so close to the ZR1. Where's the ZR1? Where is it? Where is it? So, the food court that way. So, I think I have a habit of holding it like this. I need to start holding it like this. Oh my gosh. So, hold up. I just want to. Look at this. Okay, so that's a GMC Sierra Denali Buick a Cadillac. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I'm gonna explain this downstairs. We are so close. I gotta check out that Z01 over there. 650 horsepower, 650 torque, same as the Z06. This has the aero package, like with the upgraded front splitter. That one beautiful car. Check that out. Z01 got Brumbo brakes. Check out this wing. Now, I do believe it is adjustable, uh, similar to the ZR1. Alcantara steering wheel, Alcantara interior. Wow, this is legit crazy. So, it looks like we have an old Chevrolet Cheyenne. I think that's what they're called, or they used to be called. Uh, yeah, Cheyenne. Before they were Silverados, they were Cheyennes. So, a hundred years of trucks. It's pretty cool. Welcome to Canada. We're celebrating. Wow. That is a clean truck. I wonder why it's all like pixelated out. I think this is a new Silverado actually. So it has like the all new front fascia. I don't think it's gotten like a facelift in like a couple years now. So apparently this is the new Buick Regal. I've never seen anything at first I thought it was maybe a Peugeot because or Peugeot because that is part of GM it says like it's Opal Peugeot a uh, Chevrolet uh, Cadillac and there's probably one a uh, Pontiac that used to be a thing until they went bankrupt uh, and a couple others probably okay guys you know what we paid good money for this trip I'm just gonna send it now personally I like this blue better because like it doesn't have all that ricey decals and stuff. Oh, it's opening. Now, the other one had an M on the, uh, the other one had an M. Oh, dang. Had an M on the shifter, but this one doesn't. I'm kind of, kind of curious, but here it is. It's a car nonetheless. It's paddle shifters. Paddle shifters are very clicky. Uh, uh, once again, this is a Cadillac, so it's obviously very luxurious. I uh, got the leather, probably a heated steering wheel, paddle shifters that are chrome, uh, and a touch screen, I'm assuming, because people have been touching it. I uh, got a leather shift boot, everything. Got two cup holders, which is important, and plus, you got back seats. Now, this seat is all the way back, so it's not a good representation of the legroom situation. Looks like it has harness pass throughs, which don't actually work because this car has a back seat. You have to have a harness to have a roll cage. You have to have a roll cage to have a harness. Got Alcantara or suede type material for the door panels as well as leather. And these seats, they are a Alcantara and uh, leather. And as well as, feels like plastic wrapped in a chrome wrap. 
for your harness pass pass throughs or your fake harness pass throughs because they don't actually have a roll cage in there and you have to have a roll cage to have a harness so man i just want to see i just want to see a zr1 this brings my old memories of driving the tahoe getting it man i love the tahoe and it had USB ports, which the Sequoia doesn't. Uh -huh. This is just as I remembered it, and I'm pretty sure this is like a 2018. And ours was a 2015. So not much has changed. And this is basically spec'd out. Ours was too, except I just didn't have the uh, uh, captain's chairs. Okay, guys, so the ZR1 was actually for... It was like something. I'm kind of like... It's a charity ball. Yeah, a charity ball. And so apparently is what it is it'll probably be at the auto show tomorrow i'm hoping i mean it was just released and like chevrolet is like a big thing at the detroit auto show because it's like american or actually it's french but no one cares so we can only hope that zr1 is there tomorrow as well as the ggr nismo uh, okay so we just got Black supper Coke. uh we're probably gonna eat in the empty cafeteria like uh coca-cola you know this is probably yeah, gonna be the end of the vlog so uh, I just want to say, I'll see you tomorrow, 3 o'clock. This is probably going up on Saturday, so check my Instagram for anything. So as always, this is a Diamond Company. Stay frosty.